Hi, this is Robert Plenick, owner of Brutal Iron Gym. I want to show just kind of a fun combination of exercises we were using for a client today to work their chest. So on this uh, machine, this is actually from Sorinex. It's called a Hurricane. And what it is, is basically like these arms you can move around and do a whole bunch of other exercises with. We're setting it up today just for this kind of combination. So I'll show this to you and then I'll show it, uh, uh, show it to you how you can set it up at your gym if you don't have one of these. So the first thing we have set up here is bands. And we're actually going to use them to do a squeeze, almost like a chest fly for the chest. And then I'll step back and I'm going to do push-ups off these handles. So you come on in a little bit the video. So if you can see my hands on here. So what I'm looking to do with the band is we just have it across our pegs. So that way something's holding the band. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the band at about the width that I would do push-ups. I'm going to grab the band and I'm going to squeeze my hands together like I'm trying to touch my knuckles. Okay? So I'm going to squeeze the back apart and squeeze. When you do that activation of squeezing, it activates the chest. Sometimes people will cheat and they'll just kind of bring their hands closer and not move their elbows. So instead of thinking of the hands coming together, you can actually think of bringing the pits of your elbows together. So I'd be in that position, and I'd think of bringing my elbow pits closer to each other, and you'll feel that that better activates your chest than just trying to bring your hands together, and maybe your elbows wouldn't be moving. So that's the first exercise. Right now I have two orange bands on here. So if that's too hard for people, they can just do a single band or they can grab a couple of the strands, two or three of the four, or they can move to a heavier, thicker band. So you just have to find what works for you. Typically we do five to ten reps of this exercise. So then after five or ten reps of that, they'll come back here and do push-ups. So I'm going to show you a working set of just five reps of each, and then you can play with uh, how many reps you want to do depending on your goals. So I would start. One. Two, three, four, five. Then I'd step back and do push ups. And I want to make sure I get a good stretch at the bottom. So I'm trying to stretch my chest open and squeeze just with my chest. So if you notice, I'm not locking my arms out at the top. So I don't want to lock my arms out and let my chest take a break. So I want to keep my arms bent and always be squeezing through my chest. Okay, and then on this machine we can make these arms higher and lower and that will change the difficulty of the push-up. So that's how we were doing it with our client. So come on over here and I'll show you how to set up on a squat row. So, so here we already have it set up for you guys. So come on over more to the side over here. So in our racks, one more, one more. There we go. So we have these pegs, these band pegs. So they can come in and out and go anywhere in the rack that we want. So we use those for the bands because they have a smooth surface. If people were to use these J cups that a barbell normally sits into, they have sharp edges and they can actually cut your bands. So if you have the option, it's better to use a band peg. But this is actually how we would set it up in a regular squat rack. So we would have the bar sitting at J-cups, and you would have the height determined already based on what you could do for 10 reps, okay, or what your goal is, 5 to 10 reps, something like that. So I have it set here, where I have the band on, I would do the exact same thing. So I'd grab the band, I would pull in, trying to bring my elbow pits together, and I would do that for 5 to 10 reps, then I could pull the band off, so it's out of the way, and then I'd put my hands on the bar, and do push-ups, and again for 5 to 10 reps. So you can change the height of this, you can change the tension of the band, but it's a really good, uh, very, very, very good stimulus if you've never tried it. And it's really, it works really well to pump the inside of the chest with the band work, and then stretch the chest with the push-ups. So you would do this typically after your largest movement for chest, so after you already did heavy barbell or heavy dumbbell work, this would be something in the middle or towards the end. Okay. So good luck, give it a try and let me know if it works.